Good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us on this Saturday, and it was a beautiful Saturday across the entire valley. Even though it was breezy, we had plentiful sunshine and temperatures widespread in the 20s. It was 19 in Langdon, 30 in Jamestown, the two uh, outliers being the coldest and the most mild. In Grand Forks, 25 degrees was the high temperature today. Same thing in Thief River Falls and in Faustin, 29 was the high temperature today here in Fargo. Right now in Fargo, 14 degrees and our wind has definitely calmed down over the last few hours out of the west southwest now only three miles per hour and in Grand Forks 13 degrees wind is out of the west northwest at seven miles per hour currently feels like three degrees temperatures across the entire valley have now fallen into the teens still holding on to 20 degrees in Jamestown we're at 15 in Baudet 13 in Bemidji 14 in Detroit Lakes and in Oaks as well after a fairly sunny day, we're starting to see an increase in our cloud cover from the north to the south, and even a few radar returns of some very light snow or a few flurries up towards the Hallock, Cavalier, and Langdon area. Walking you through your hour-by-hour -hour forecast, we'll continue to see an increase in cloud cover through the overnight hours, and waking up tomorrow morning to a pretty overcast sky, but temperatures near seasonal in the single digits above zero. Today in Fargo, our morning low was one below, so it'll be nice to start our day above zero for a change. We hang on to the cloud cover through much of the day, perhaps a few peaks of sunshine farther down in the southern valley. But across eastern North Dakota, can't rule out a chance for a few spotty flurries within the cloud cover. Temperatures in the afternoon will be fairly steady in the teens across the north, 20s across the south before our next chance of some snow moves in. This is by 850 for your Sunday evening. Getting calmed down for the day, settled to bed, might see a few flurries developing before we start to see that light snow move across the northern valley and continue into your Monday morning. So there's potential for some impact to your Monday morning commute with that light snow either falling or a fresh coat of that light snow on the ground. Most of it moves out by late morning Monday, but here's what we're looking at for potential snowfall accumulation about an inch to two inches for northern Minnesota Lake of the Woods by debt uh, Roseau area Grand Forks zero to one inch potentially just a trace uh, if any here in Fargo temperatures tomorrow morning again single digits above zero before some first alert weather days Friday and Saturday we're looking at mixed precipitation Friday evening turning to snow late and into Saturday and then the wind picks up as well leading to blowing snow potential. And that's not the only chance for snow. Monday morning, we just talked about that one. Tuesday, the first day of meteorological spring, we've got a chance for snow. And then the shade, we have flurry chances for Wednesday and Thursday. So an active yeah. upcoming week again. Lots going on. I could do without the wind though. Yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks so much, Summer.